know that every NICU in California is working hard to provide the best care possible for every infant and every family. But we also know that differences in processes and differences in outcomes do exist. So at CPQCC, we have developed the Health Equity Dashboard to let you examine the data about your NICU to see if you might have any of these differences in either processes or in infant outcomes, and whether they are statistically significant, and therefore whether you have any possible QI opportunities in any of those areas. There are two versions of the Health Equity Dashboard, and the one you see will depend on the amount of racial and ethnic diversity in your NICU infants. Don't worry about which one you see if the one that you look at doesn't look quite like this yet. I'll go over birth versions, but let's start at the top where things are pretty much the same. The eye on the far left is an information icon that has information about the dashboard. You can look at that at any time. The pie chart shows the distribution of race and ethnicity for all small babies in your NICU. You notice that the largest percentage is non-Hispanic white here, which is 18 babies or 50%. 13 babies were Hispanic, 36%, and so on through the other groups. This chart will change depending on which of the processes or outcomes you select from below. We'll go over that in a second. Right now we're looking at a demo center. You can also look at your region, at all NICUs at your level, or at the entire CPQCC network. On the far right you'll notice that you can select the time period to look at. So now let's go down to the bottom. This is version one of the dashboard where you see there's a table. Version two shows cards, and I'll show you that one in a minute. In version one, the table shows for each race and ethnic group that we have delineated here, a whole set of processes, delivery of antenatal steroids, timely surfactant use, whether the baby came into the NICU normothermic and so on. And after that, it shows outcomes for the baby. Click on the arrows to view the outcome metrics. Under each metric, you'll see three columns, N, RE percent, and EV percent. The N is the number of infants in that group. The RE percent represents the percentage of that group in the total population. And the EV percent represents the percentage of infants in that group affected by that particular process or outcome. So for example, if the category is pneumothorax, the EV percent is the percentage of infants in that group with a pneumothorax. Now let's take a look at version 2. If you see the orange exclamation point, that means that there may be disparities that are statistically significant. If you see a green check mark here instead, it means that there may be disparities in care, but they're not statistically significant. They may still be interesting to you to look at to see if it's an area that you want to keep an eye on. The other thing you'll notice is there's a new chart on this side, and the things at the bottom are not tables, but they're cards. So let's look at those in turn. First, let's look at the cards at the bottom. The first row of cards shows NICU processes that have to do with the infants. Again, as we saw before, timely surfactant use. There are arrows at the side so you can change what you're seeing. Antenatal steroids, timely surfactant use, normothermic, and so on. The second row are the infant outcomes you'll see a little bar across the middle of the graph. The thickness of the bar shows you the amount of disparity that is being seen between the highest performing and the lowest performing group. The information icon allows you to bring up more information about this particular measure. And if you really want to dive in, you can click for details on the risk adjustment model for that measure. At the bottom left, the arrow shows you the direction that is desired. That is, for timely surfactant use, better numbers are higher. If you want to look at the data for timely surfactant use, click Select in the box. And while the percentage of infants that you see here is going to remain the same because it's the, it's the distribution of infants by race and ethnicity in your NICU, you will see the percent for timely surfactant use for each category as you go around. To view the metrics that are statistically significant, click the orange exclamation mark again. You can click here and it'll give you a review. Review the following areas. Timely atrial referral, human milk nutrition, severe ROP and ROP surgery. You'll notice underneath the first row there are little bars that show you that there are more cards to see here. So let's click one of the orange ones and we'll see human milk nutrition. 
since we've clicked it, it's automatically selected for us. The group that performed best here were the Asian group. 76.5% went home on human milk nutrition. Black infants went home on human milk nutrition only 53.5% of the time. So that is a statistically significant percentage. If you click here, you can also see this information in a table format. So let's also look down here at outcomes. Survival without major morbidity, chronic lung disease, pneumothorax, severe peri-IVH, late infection, and so on. If you hover over the bar for any of these, it will give you the highest and lowest values, the maximum difference. If you have any questions or concerns or would like to talk to somebody about your data or about the report in general, please file a help ticket at the CPQCC help desk. We would love to talk to you about your data, your reports, or anything we can help with.